How many of you like the sounds? How many of you actually like to go for bike rides? Can we ride our bikes cross country? Can we like help animals and meet really cool people along the way and eat amazing food and get to know every little area and bring our love and our light inside of our hearts and minds and share them with our communities and create electrical impulses by giving each other hugs, putting our chin over there, left shoulder. You think we can handle that? Or are we all love avoidance? <laughs> Do we rather hide ourselves and not love ourselves and share our light and our love and our viewpoints with the world? <laughs> are you so scared to be yourself? Are you afraid to be different? Are you afraid they're gonna laugh at you because there's only one of you? Ha, <laughs> let me laugh at you. Let me show you how much I love you and how unique you are with every little bit of laughter <laughs> that you inspire me to give to you just by being around you. Or are you so bitter and am I the one that has to make you laugh and that's why you're here? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're like against either. <laughs> All I know, there's only two things I can never get back. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Frank, for teaching me this lesson. The only two things I can never get back are my time and my energy. So make sure you know the price that you're paying and that you're doing an equal energetic exchange. Some of you might be working a job that you don't really like for a paycheck that you think is just good enough. You gotta recognize how good enough you are and how different you are. Unless you rather just keep suffering and you genuinely enjoy the things you complain about. As my homeboy Lini says, <laughs> Crystalini, my wrestling family, forever, forever. Yo, I've been seeing JCW license plates everywhere. I've also been healing a lot of uh, what some call epigenetic memory or ancestral memory, genetic memory, plus like additional memories, you know, like the body never forgets what experiences it goes through. So there's been a lot of re-expression, pain, anger, suffering, <laughs> mainly things I've stuffed down and didn't want to acknowledge. And now, thanks to Uncle Frank, I'm acting upon that knowledge acknowledging it truly enjoying the process it's been a process to find a way to enjoy the process especially the struggles especially the struggles I gotta admit though, without you, I wouldn't have been able to keep going. All your time and your energy, your prayers, your intentions, your financial support, your constant encouragement, your bravery. Who else was brave enough to talk to me, to be my friend, to be my assistant, to be an agent to my happiness? Who really cared? Who was there? <laughs> I'm right here. I welcome you on my journey. I'm thankful to have you. It's been such a pleasure growing and healing. It's been painful re-experiencing these things and meeting many of you that have the same identical circumstances. However, it's been a pleasure healing and growing together. Thanks to Reverend Albert in Casadega, I learned to change it's hard to it's challenging. 
and then I accept the challenge with great honor and respect and integrity. <laughs> I find it pleasure. <laughs> if you want to keep going, you got to keep your legs nice. You got to not be lazy. You got to love yourselves and your feelings and let things go. Tighten up. Show yourself some love, some respect. Show God some respect by enjoying the planet and saying thanks, I love you planet, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Three, seven. I don't know what I'm doing, it's like my first bike. <laughs> I'm having fun though. A lot of fun. Fun, fun, fun. Run, <laughs> Just off rock. I think it's time for a life bath. Also, guess what? <laughs> Tell you later. <laughs> Peace.